Okay, quickly before this video starts, I was gonna call this like cooking what my death row meal would be and then I was like, you know what, I'm actually not gonna do that because the death row isn't something to like make entertainment out of. I know it's quite a common thing people say like, oh, what would your death row meal be? I don't know, I just kept overthinking it loads and I hate capital punishment. I don't think it should be a thing. I know it's not a thing in the UK, but it's still in the US and it's really horrible to see. A lot of the times after their execution, new evidence will come out and I don't know, I, it's just bizarre to me that it's still happening to this day. So I'll leave some petitions down below if you wanna sign any to abolish the capital punishment like it just should not be a thing in 2021 but yeah i hope you enjoy the video that's why it's called cooking my last meal on earth and not what my death row meal would be because i just don't i don't know i just felt weird good evening so as you can see by the title of this video i'm gonna be cooking my death row meal i don't mean like any offense by that as well because I, i'm just saying that as like that's quite a common term used and like like what's your death row meal but like i don't agree with the death row at all i don't agree with it i definitely don't like there is this one anomaly you're like this person should not be on the earth but i'm like that's an easy escape death they should be riding out the jail sentence sorry let's just move on from this anyway basically i'm alone um for the next few days because all my friends have gone to cornwall i couldn't go because i'd already previously agreed to do a podcast and it's like an in-studio one so I I, I, there's no way I could do it remotely and then I was like oh well I'll join you all like after the po podcast so I can be there for like the last night but uh, it's a six hour drive and I was like yeah it's not worth it for a night I'd rather just be alone even though I will get crippling loneliness and depression it's a price I'm willing to pay instead of doing a six hour drive to be honest if it was like to like Ibiza or something I'd probably get a flight but it's just the fact it's a six hour drive to Cornwall it's not happening I would actually love to go to Cornwall though I'm Brighton I'd love to go to Brighton apparently there's dolphins in Cornwall I it's like my lifelong dream to see dolphins when I was really young I begged my mum and dad to do the swimming with dolphins in a swimming pool and now I'm so fucking happy they didn't let me do it that's really cruel actually yeah but I was thinking like I'm alone tonight it's gonna be quite boring like I need to do something to kind of spice up my evening and I was like why not cook for myself i've been really slacking on the cooking recently i've been a wee bit going ham on the delivery i'm like ordering the same thing over and over again and it is my favorite meal that i order so i was like instead of ordering tonight i'm gonna cook it like, cooking is good when you're bored because it takes like fucking three hours and it is like is that much effort worth like five minutes of eating because i don't I, I eat very very quickly which probably doesn't help my digestive problems at all i wolf down my food it's like a family thing i think we used to do it because whenever we were younger my my whole family did so much sports and like my brother would eat like i swear like 15 bowls of pasta every single day and it was kind of like you to fight for your food so like I, th I think that's where we all think that's where it came from like we will be sitting at dinner no one will speak we're hoovering down our food whereas i feel like if i was an only child i could like slow down and kind of enjoy it but it's just it wasn't like that like you know when you get um bolognese when your mum puts a bowl of garlic bread in the middle you had to literally go, like it was gone within three seconds it wasn't like a oh we'll pick it that throughout the meal it was like it was life or death to be honest so i've planned out what i'm gonna make i'll tell you quickly so i'm gonna make for my starter green papaya salad it's a thai dish it's my favorite thing ever sometimes on delivery i'll get my green papaya salad and some spring rolls either crispy or summer spring rolls with the rice paper whatever i'm feeling that day but it's so nice and spicy i love spicy food it's always a bit weird because like papaya is like a, like a melony kind of fruit isn't it but it's like unripe papaya it's the green papaya so it's kind of like it's like crunchy it's like lettuce it doesn't taste like fruit it's just so nice and i'm not a salad gal then for my main i'm gonna be making a burrito i i, I order a burrito every single night you all know i'm obsessed with burritos i'm single-handedly keeping chilango in london afloat because i order from there like twice a day it's getting bad so i thought why not just make my own burrito i don't think i've ever really made my own burrito before i don't know if you'd call it a burrito okay it's a bit of like a, an abomination what I, my order like i don't get rice or anything because i hate rice and i also feel like if i made it myself i could like kind of sometimes i don't put enough guac in i love a lot of guac and sometimes the sauces aren't spicy enough from the restaurants i go to so i'm hoping today i can make my dream burrito and my dream papaya salad i'm not sure what i'm gonna do for dessert yet i'm not a huge dessert person but we'll jump that hurdle when it comes to it i get these ingredients for my papaya salad and burrito i'm actually going to go to like an asian supermarket and a mexican supermarket because i feel like sainsbury's is not going to cut it i want proper stuff here so that's where we're going now and we're going to listen to some music on the way because i literally cannot do a video without doing a carbal karaoke in anymore also the podcast i'm going on tomorrow which i can't go to cornwall for it's jay and i isn't that fun cool He's from Made in Chelsea, you know Jim and I, he owns candy kittens as well. Hopefully, get a free bag of candy kittens. That would be the dream. Oh my god, our accents are going to be so contrasting. Because he's like, the poshest, the posh. And I am not. Well, I don't have the poshest Northern Irish accent, but it's definitely not the strongest. But I think whenever English people listen to me, they think it's really strong. But like, people that are really, really posh in Northern Ireland, they would say like, gate and hate, instead of gate and hate. And you know what I actually get really offended? When people keep commenting on my stuff, being like, she's lost her accent. And like, I definitely haven't. To be fair, maybe I pronounce my words better sometimes. But see my last video, my Danny Got one, I was struggling to edit it. I genuinely couldn't hear what I was saying. I definitely like, it gets stronger when I'm home. But it's more like, Oh, I said home. Oh my god, I said home really posh there. Home. Oh, sorry. 
I still have my whole like shower and towel and stuff but that's still there so don't worry but sometimes I do pronounce my words a bit more clearer just so people can understand me please don't hit me for it Oh, my mum's calling me. Hello. Who are you up to? I'm going to a Mexican supermarket. How are you? Yes. Did you dig up the ingredients and get all the stuff that you needed? Yes. Okay, I'm slightly concerned. If you couldn't tell by my facial expressions there as I was driving past, it didn't exist. I do find this happens so often in London. I'll put it in my maps. And I'll find this shop and I'll put it in my maps and then I go there and it genuinely just doesn't exist. It's a big fat lie. I actually also did travel half an hour for this. Like it was not near me. So I'll be really upset if it's not here. Oh my god, lol. So I basically found out that it was like within this little corner shop. Really, really random. But then we went in and I found all these nice salsas. I was so excited. So first of all, I got some salsa verde. It's my favorite salsa ever. And then I got some tomato salsa. It was actually really nice even though it was from a jar. And then I got some like spicy salsa, some fajita seasoning for my peppers and onions. And then I also got my pinto beans. I'm literally obsessed with pinto beans. I'm a beanie gal. Okay, that was a success. She was so nice in there. They didn't have any corn tortillas. They only have floor tortillas, so it's not going to be quite as authentic. I don't think that's what she said, but she was so nice and really helpful. And I got lots of nice salsas and pinto beans and stuff, and I'm really excited. Um, now I need to go to the Asian supermarket to get some stuff for my papaya salad. Also, whenever I was getting in my car there on the boot, someone had written like an X, like on the like you know, there's a bit of dust, they wrote like an X in a circle around it. So basically, I think my car has been marked and someone's actually about to come kill me. So I probably should drive away, but I don't know, that's the theory I came up with in my head. And like, now I'm so paranoid that there's someone literally about to murder me. So I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna go to the Asian supermarket. <laughs> Okay, it's literally been three hours and I was driving around trying to find a green papaya everywhere and I was pretty quickly reminded of why I don't cook myself because it takes so long to fucking get the ingredients and plan out everything. But anyway, I'm now back home and I've got everything. I'm really, really hungry so I'm going to quickly make the papaya salad and then I'll like prepare the dessert and make my main course. So this is the papaya just peeled a bit. Basically, I looked up like a tutorial on how you kind of, because it's like grated but I, you don't, I don't even know how to do it. So she said, make incisions in the papaya. This is really like giving me a bit of anxiety and then cut like that okay right it actually worked well wow. okay i've shredded that papaya i honestly wouldn't recommend doing that at home it is a complete health hazard it was really really scary okay the next bit is like the dressing and the other bits of the salad but they said use a pestle and mortar and i don't have one of those so i'm just going to use a bowl and like the end of this knife okay, so first of all, i'm just slicing and de-seeding a chili why am i like actually a really really good cook when you think about it i don't actually know what type of chilies these are like they could be anything i'm gonna do some garlic granules you're meant to do fresh garlic but i'm just drawing the line there i can't be fucked to chop up garlic next we're adding some sweetener there you're meant to use palm sugar but i couldn't find any so i'm just gonna use a bit of agave and then instead of fish sauce i'm just using some salt for any of my vegetarians out there then i'm gonna add some green beans some tomatoes and then they say to mush it all together okay we've finished Fuck, that's spicy. I love it. Wow, wow. I don't know how about the bar for that. I would 100% make this like all the time if they sold pre-shredded green papaya. If that's, if you can get that somewhere, then let me know, guys. I'm gonna go watch Grey's Anatomy and eat the rest of this. What the fuck? I don't know what chilies I used. I only used two of them. Genuinely, for the past 10 minutes, I've been sitting, not even, I haven't been breathing, I've just been chugging milk. Okay, I've recovered from the whole spice thing. Mind you, I washed my hands about five times and I just touched my eye. Can you see how like red it is up there? Those chilies were not playing around. Anyway, I'm now preparing my dessert because it needs to set in the fridge before I eat it. So I'm gonna prepare the dessert and then I'll make the main. For dessert, it's quite boring. I feel like my dream dessert is like a sticky toffee pudding and ice cream, but like, 
I couldn't make that. I wasn't prepared to make that. I'm not too fond of baking. I'm more of like a, I prefer cooking to be honest. So I wanted to focus more on the cooking and then just make an easy dessert that I actually do like. So I'm going with chocolate strawberries. I mean, you just can't go wrong. Yes, it's basic, but it's just like, it's delicious. So currently I am melting the chocolate. I'm doing it this way where you put the water in the pan and the bowl on top because I have actually managed to burn chocolate one too many times and it's just a bit embarrassing at this point. So I'm using these buttons from Tesco. They're really, really nice. And I'm also gonna add some Alpro single soy cream just to make the chocolate a bit creamier. Okay, chocolate is all melted. We've got our strawberries. Okay, now it's time to dip them. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I actually had a lot of like FOMO. Not from, I was just like a bit like, oh, I'm sitting here dipping strawberries and chocolate while everyone is down in Cornwall having the best time ever. They all just like texted into the group chat that was made for it. That I don't even know why I'm still in it because I obviously can't go. And everyone was like, this is so shit. Because look at the weather outside. I don't know why, but it's just been like gray and smoggy all day. And um, I think they thought maybe it would have been like a different climate. So in a twisted way, it's actually made me really happy that they've said it's shit. <laughs> John is coming over on Friday, so that's really fun. Got so much book. We're gonna have a, the best weekend ever. Don't really know if I should vlog it because I did vlog the last one and it's just like, are you bored of John yet? Not in that way. John loved you, but I'm like, this isn't a couple's channel. But I am really stuck for videos, guys. Like, what is this video? Why am I becoming a cooking channel? I was gonna do trying every burrito in London, but then I thought it might have just been people would just wouldn't have cared about my opinion because my burrito order is so terrifying. Do you want me to tell you what my burrito order is? It's no rice, pinto beans, salsa verde. Salsa Ruja, 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 the, the hot one, and guac, and lettuce, and that's it. Like, it's not, like, can you call that a burrito? Probably not. It's mostly just like a vegetable wrap. My strawberries are done. I'm gonna put them in the fridge, and then it's time to make our burrito. Doesn't it, like, literally look post apocalyptic in London right now? This is not the summer I signed up for, to be honest. I'm not gonna bore you with all, like, the cooking bits. Um, I need to, like, cook off these onions and peppers. I'm gonna use this fajita spice that I got from the wee supermarket I went to. The only other thing I really need to cook and prepare is the guac and these pinto beans. So just update you, I've got the fajita spices in a mug. I like doing this because sometimes I feel like whenever I put the spices on, it just makes it a bit dry. So I put a bit of hot water in and then just swirl that around and then I add that to my peppers and onions on the stove. Put that on there. For the avocado, I've got it all chopped up in this bowl. I'm gonna add garlic granules, some lime, and some diced tomatoes. And then we're gonna mesh it all up. For the pinto beans, I'm gonna add some cumin, garlic, and salt, and just heat them on the stove with some oil. Okay, we're all ready. So we've got the guacamole. Is it guacamole or guacamole? I don't really know. Pinto beans, the lettuce, burrito, peppers and onions, and then our three salsas. And then for my last drink on earth, I would have the peach iced tea. The humble peach iced tea. So what I don't like about whenever people make my burrito, like assemble it. Sorry, I keep getting scared every time I hear a noise I'm home alone. You sometimes you'll get a bite and you're just getting one element of the burrito. I want it to be mixed. So what I plan on doing is putting all the ingredients in a bowl, mixing it about and then putting it in the burrito. So as you can see, I'm pretty much a genius. We're gonna put in some lettuce, pinto beans, guac, extra guac, cause it'd be rude not to, peppers and onions, and then our salsa. So I'm gonna put in a bit of salsa verde, plop a bit in there. And then this is tomato salsa. I'm not, not thinking back on it, I probably should have made my tomato salsa fresh cause it's really easy to make, but fuck it. Oh. oh my God, no, I can't do this again, guys. I really can't go through this. Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. Oh, that looks good. This is a spicier salsa, I believe. It's like tomato and chili. Whereas that last salsa is just tomato and like onion and stuff. It smells spicy. I'll just put a wee tiny bit in. This is like literally genius. I feel like everyone everywhere should do this. Cause sometimes I take a bite and I literally just get a big fat mouth of lettuce. And that's not what I want. I want guac in every single bite. Guac is definitely my favorite part of my burrito. That is a large amount of filling for the size of this tortilla. Pull up the edges and roll. Okay. I'm gonna add some more salsa verde. Mmm, so good. I'm really proud of myself that I made this today instead of ordering it on delivery. So now I'm gonna have another one now, but I'm not gonna video it because I'm gonna watch some YouTube while I do it, but that was delicious, 10 out of 10. I'm gonna go to bed now, but before I go to bed, I'm gonna try one of my chocolate strawberry. Oh, that looks cute. That's nice, isn't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, look, 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 look at Rosie. Oh! I can't 
can't wait to get a dog. Oh my god, guys, I forgot to update you. Uh, that dog turns out it was a really, really sensitive dog. The one I was meant to get was really, really like, sensitive. I like, just wanted to cuddle the whole time. And she was like, if I keep him for a month, I just know he's going to get so attached and it'll be so cruel. So I'd rather him go to his home ASAP. If you can take him ASAP, then absolutely take him. But if not, I'm going to have to find a different home for him. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I can't take him right now. I'm too busy. Like, as in, like, I need to move home before I take any dogs. Here is my chocolate strawberry. I did forget to put it on parchment paper. So it's a little bit bald on that side. You forget how good they are. It's the way the chocolate goes a wee bit like squishy or something. Um, I'm gonna have another one. I said I was only gonna have one, but I really can't just have one because they're absolutely fucking delicious. It's 2 a.m. I'm sneaking right back into the kitchen to eat some more chocolate strawberries. Bit annoyed about the wasting of this chocolate, but what can you do? Okay, I'm gonna end the video here because it is 2 a.m. But thanks for joining me today, giving me a bit of company because I was quite lonely. I wasn't lonely because I was speaking to you, but I would have been lonely had I not had you here to chat to. Oh guys, I don't know what to do because I'm also, again, really stressing out about the name of the video because like, I don't want anyone to think that I'm, I don't know, mimicking it at all. Maybe I should call it my last meal on earth. Cooking my last meal on earth. That doesn't sound good. That sounds like a goodbye. I don't want to worry people. Wait, have I shown you this yet? I don't know if I have. It's just like my new obsession. It's by Grace Beverly's brand. Uh, do you know Grace Beverly, like the fitness girl? fitness girl she's a lot more than that she owns a brand called shreddy because you know you have, like the resistance bands and stuff as well as like food supplements this is called the daily dose peach iced tea and it's got like nine vitamins like your daily dose of vitamin c b12 it's not sponsored but it's not at all but i just wanted to put you onto it because it's fucking delicious like you know when you get healthy stuff like vitamin stuff because i know a lot of people hate the um taste of barocca whereas i love it but this is for you if you don't like the taste of barocca you, well you know what if you like peach iced tea fucking get this because it's a healthy version of peach iced tea that gives you all your vitamins you just put it in your you put, like put a scoop of it in your water in the morning and it's like a nice drink but i have wanted it for so long because it's right up my alley peach iced tea and vitamins my favorite thing ever but every time i've gone on to get it on the website it's been out of stock and then i randomly just get a package the other day show up with that in it and i was like get in right i'm going to bed i love you